discreet about it. Extra, extra read about it. Say you wanna be for body. We gon' come and see your body. Flexing ain't discreet about it. Extra, extra read about it. Say you wanna be for body. Find out nothing sweet about it. Flexing ain't discreet about it. Joe Ray here. Welcome back to another video. If y'all are watching this right now, please drop a one of these. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and be sharing knowledge with y'all. I know my voice is kind of messed up. I'm kind of a little sick, just to be honest with y'all. And today I want to teach y'all how to do a pistol squat. The thing about pistol squat, I think it's a really effective move to learn because it's the most it seems like it's the most effective calisthenics move you can do for your legs because it works out eight inch. It puts a lot of stress and resistance on one leg versus two legs. Also, the Bulgarian split squat does the same thing. Also, the lunge does that. But the pistol squat is slowly isolation movement that really puts so much stress on one leg. And I can't stress enough that this is one of the moves that you need, or not need, but you want to have incorporated into your calisthenics movement if you're going to work out legs. Because calisthenics, it doesn't neglect legs, but obviously with weights, <clears throat> with weights, it's going to be a lot better. So you want to put the most stress you can on your legs so they can be as strong as possible. So with that being said, I'm going to teach y'all the technique behind doing the pistol squat. I'm going to teach y'all a few other shots as y'all can do. And that sounds interesting. Let's get into it. But before we hop right into it, I want to say that a requirement for being able to do this is at least 10 Bulgarian split squats on each leg before you get started on trying to train for the pistol squat and I'll show you all that right now when you're doing the Bulgarian split squat make sure to have that other leg where you have yourself stationary and when you go down into it keep your chest up in line with your shins and also to make sure your knees stay behind your feet and that will be a Bulgarian split squat. The first exercise I want to do in order to do a pistol squat is the assisted pistol squat. When doing the assisted pistol squat, you're going to either hold on to someone's hand, which I obviously don't have that on my own, or you can have an elevated surface, which the higher the surface is, the easier it's going to be to perform the pistol squat. So you want to start with something higher. But as time goes on, you get stronger in the movement. You're going to go to something lower and until you're essentially not even touching anything. And then that will help you where you can do it without any help. Make sure when doing the assisted pistol squat to do the leg away from the chair so you can help balance yourself because you do the leg right next to the chair you're going to find it harder to get your balance in order to go back down and go up into the pistol squat we on to the lower thing make sure that you have the higher object already down so this isn't really a problem the next let's try to go over is the pistol squat negative now on this you're going to lower to pistol squat as slow as you can and and just let yourself fall back but make sure not to hurt yourself and I'll show you how to do that but the meaning of doing this is once you get over time you'll start being able to go slower and slower and then eventually you get to where you'll be you'll like plateau and you'll stop going down as hard and you'll get to the point where you can just come back up or you get to the point where you can almost come back up and that's what we're trying to that's what the goal of this is so you get to that point then you know you're you're probably ready to start training for the pistol squat where you can actually get on your own without having to use assistance and without further ado let's get into it before i show you all pistol squat negative i want to show the actual technique behind the pistol squat you're gonna lean to one side you're gonna put your arms out you keep your chest up the entire time throughout the, throughout the entire movement. When you descend into the movement, you're going to use your other leg and your arms in order to balance yourself, and you're going to go up. The other side should be the exact same technique I just described.
Also, make sure to keep your heels on the ground the entire time you're doing on each leg. The pistol squat negative, go down slow as you can on the leg. Make sure you're laying on your butt so you don't hurt yourself. And then the same thing's going to be for the opposite leg. Okay, that's how you can work towards doing a pistol squat. I hope this was useful and you find this information valuable. I'll start dropping more information like this if y'all want to. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, stay hungry, stay driven.